New Shoes, written by Susan Lynn Meyer, illustrated by Eric Velasquez. My cousin Charlotte hands me the package as we stand outside Johnson's shoes. If you could have any shoes in the window, I ask, which one would you choose? Those, Charlotte says, pointing to red sandals. What about you, LMA? Today, I choose saddle shoes. They'd be just right for back to school, but I know full well it's just wishing. Money's too tight for new shoes. When I get home, Mama opens the package. Winslow's shoes are in good shape, she says. She hands them to my brother Clayton. That's the way we always hand them down. Winslow's shoes go to Clayton, Charlotte's go to me. I clean Charlotte's old shoes, but when I put them on, they pinch my toes. I show Mama. Mama sighs. We'll just have to scrape together money for new shoes. Shoes I pick out myself? I can't believe it. On Saturday, we're going to Johnson's. On Saturday morning, when we walk in, the bell jingles. Mr. Johnson looks our way. Behind us, the door jingles again. A girl with yellow curls walks in with her daddy. Mr. Johnson heads towards them. Mom and I walk to the back of the store and stand against the wall. That blonde haired girl tries on shoes, posing in front of the mirror. I sigh. Weren't we here first? But I know colored people always have to wait. Finally, the girl's daddy buys her a new pair of shoes, and they leave. How can I help you now, Mr. Johnson says to us. I point to a display of saddle shoes. I want to try those on, sir, I say. I hear Mama suck in her breath. Oh, we'll do something different, LMA, she says. We'll make a picture of your feet for Mr. Johnson. But, I start to say, pencil and paper over there, gal, Mr. Johnson says to Mama. Mama traces my feet. Mr. Johnson takes the paper and comes back with the shoe box. Mama holds the shoes next to me. Mr. Johnson fidgets. Yes, I think these will fit, Mama says, and she counts out money. Rain is pouring down when we leave. Mama snaps open her umbrella. Mama, I say, can't colored folks try on shoes? Mama sighs. No, but then she puts on a smile. Let's think about how nice her feet will look for school. I like my shoes, but it isn't fair that the other girl can try them on and I can't. Mama and I walk on together, listening to the rain. The next day in the schoolyard, I show Charlotte my shoes, but then I tell about what happened at Johnson's. Charlotte nods. That's happened to me too, she whispers. Even though I have new shoes, I feel bad most of the day. But then during spelling, I have an idea. I tell Charlotte as we walk home. Yes, she says, I'll help. So Charlotte and I do chores. We scrub, we pick the last green beans, we mine babies. Most folks say they can't pay much. Never mind, I say, we'll work for a nickel and a pair of outgrown shoes. At the end of the month, we line up the shoes on empty shelves in the old barn next to our house. Charlotte scoops up the coins. I'll go buy polish, she says. While she is gone, I clean the shoes with soft rags. Then they pull out all the dirty shoelaces. I wash them in, in lots of soapy water until the water squeezes off them clean. I hang the laces on the clothesline to dry in the sun. Charlotte comes running back. I call Red, she says. She uses a nickel to pry open the red tin and I open the black. I take a pair of shoes and rub the polish in. Then I scrunch up my hand inside, smoothing out all the wrinkles, and buff the shoes until they shine. The sun has dried the laces now. I thread them back through the holes. Charlotte holds up the shiny red Mary Jane she has been buffing. Almost as good as new, she says proudly. The neighbors know we are ready to open even before the paint in our sign is dry. LMA and Charlotte's shoes, it says, price. 10 cents and another used pair. Mrs. Douglas peeps in the barn door, holding little Laura's hand. Right behind them, I see more neighbors coming. Look at this, Mrs. Douglas marvels. No need to go to Johnson's now. Then she hesitates. Last time the shoes from Johnson's gave my Laura blisters, she says. Can she try these on to see which one fits best? Charlotte and I smile. We hold our heads up proud. Yes, ma'am, she can, I say loud and clear. In our store, 
anyone who walks in the door can try on all the shoes they want.